Well, we've had a great, exciting day out here today. Started out getting set up, doing some glassing for mule deer. Didn't take us 15 minutes, and we had a nice buck right below us. Alan thinks he could have been a five by five, one of the biggest he had seen. So we did a really quick stalk and started down. We got to about 350 yards from him, and all of a sudden he got, got alerted. He stuck his nose up in the air, trying to figure out where the scent was coming from. Um, we froze. He finally went down, but unfortunately, a group of antelope moved into the area, and so they had us pinned down. Um, we resumed our stalk, and then we found nothing but a fresh bed right over the hill, so we didn't bring that one home. Well, this afternoon we got out, we did a little antelope hunting. Uh, we found a nice antelope doe, which that's what I got a tag for on top of a ridge. When she crested that ridge, we grabbed the four reel signaling decoy with that antelope rump and headed towards her. Well, when we got to the top of the ridge, she wasn't there, and all of a sudden, within 25 yards, it was this big, mature pronghorn. He jumps up, I sat down, and he stared right at Alan holding that decoy rope. I know Alan got real excited, so I don't know if he got the footage or not, but it was a blast watching all that happen. They circled around us and that was it, but it was very extremely uh, exciting to witness all of that. This afternoon, we got a really good spot. Last night, we seen two mature bucks within about 300 yards of each other. We're gonna set up right in the middle of them and see which one pops up first. So stay tuned. Hopefully there's some good action to come. Thank you and take care. This was our third morning in Wyoming. We had already had an awesome opening day and we were both very excited at another opportunity at the big 5x5. Five five. We had made a slight adjustment to our location in hopes to close the distance. The wind had picked up and was much stronger today, but we were still confident we could see some deer movement. We had been successful that afternoon, 
Carrie was able to harvest an antelope doe. He wanted to take a few moments to share the harvest with an old friend, Linda, over at BJ's campground. Alright. <laughs> so thanks for uh, mm -hmm. making that meal for us the first time. Mm -hmm. You've got us hooked on antelope. You got three antelope tags this season and cool. wanted to share the harvest with you. Nice hindquarters. <laughs> Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's more.